Alright, what's up YouTube? I'll go 405 back on Digimon World Dusk. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking right now, because he's being an idiot. In the last episode, I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Let's see, am I on a quest? You have not taken a quest, okay. So yeah, I don't really remember much of what I did with the last episode. Cause I haven't uploaded in a while, like because like parts nine and ten I believe I recorded a few days ago. I don't remember, um, like what I did exactly with them. I mean, I probably faced one of the cooler designed bosses in the game. Let's see, the haunted house. Do I want to do that one yet? No. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm also, like, sorry if I kind of stop every, like, now and then because, like, we're having work done on the basement of my house. So our heater has been turned off. And like my room is freezing right now, so like I keep like wrapping myself tighter in a blanket. So I'm sorry, like if like I randomly stop every now and then. But right now I'm trying to find a try to find Oma. Uh, this requires no tasty water takes me back to Loop Swamp. I'm sick of the swamp. Even though I haven't gone there in a long time, I just I don't want to be in that swamp. The swamp is a pain in the ass. So let's just go and take the take the haunted house. I had to talk to Devimon in the plaza. Okay. I believe with this one I have to go and um fight a couple Digimon in the haunted house area. But let's see. This is office. I think this is plaza. No, that's square. Yeah, I'm sorry. I like I don't remember exactly what the areas are. That's hall. Like that's gate, which means this is plaza. I have to find Devimon, okay. But yeah, I'm sorry, like, I don't really ever really remember, um, exactly where everybody is. Like, for the beginning of these quests. I mean, I'm able to remember a few of them, like the Mach Galgumon for, um, the... For the Penguin Mon, like, um, mission that I did the other, like, video. And, um, the one with Crescent Mon asking me to do the Bomber Incident one. I remember, like, where, like, a few of the things take me. But I'm able to remember the quest, like most of the quests very well. But actually, hold on. I think I need to take this all the way over. I may be wrong, because I remember what I have to do for this quest. I have to fight like two Digimon, one Ultimate, one Mega. So I might be a little bit wrong. Probably more than a little bit. Let's just hit them with the Galga Tornado. And I love how everybody on my team is slowly catching up to Shadow, even though Shadow's been an ultimate for like the past, like, who knows how long. I was gonna say 10 episodes, but there's only been like, this is only like the 11th episode. It's kind of sad that like all my series kind of go by pretty fast, because I mean, there's only like Shit, two more before before the final real story mission, and then um, then that last um mission that I might do. I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna do the Gaia organization or Origin. I don't remember if it's Organization or Origin. I don't remember exactly. It's been forever since I played. Like I'm able to remember like how to play but I never paid attention to the story or like real like names or anything flee from these idiots I said flee not fail you're a giant fucking bird you should be able to get away from these things I mean they're freaking candles and shit go away pawn chessmon I don't like to play chess. Not anymore. Let me leave. Go away, Pawn Chessmon. I gave up chess for Kaijudo. Not really, because I haven't played chess in like three years. But I did recently get back into playing Kaijudo. Ironically, and well, actually, not recently, like literally a couple hours ago. Seriously, like. Technically, I guess you could say it was yesterday, but like me and my friend Christian were talking, and, like he was like saying that I should like 
like I should play Kai Judo. And I was I was like, okay, fine, but I'm like I told him I don't have the money to go out and buy a deck with that. So he literally brought like a freaking shit ton of cards to school and had me look through it and make my own deck out of it. That is amazing, like like, it has been forever since I've, since I've played Kaijudo, considering I used to play it back when it was Duel Masters. And the way that my deck is standing right now is a fire and dark attributed deck. I don't remember exactly if they had specific things to them as like, like what their attributes were called. So I just, I'm just calling it a fire and dark attributed deck. But seriously, from like what he said, well, but from what he says, um, Death Lager, Lion of Chaos from from um, Duel Masters should be being reprinted into a Kaijudo card sometime soon, like within the, like one of the next um, like pack releases. So I swear, when that thing comes out, that motherfucker is getting into my deck. That guy was my best card when I was younger. That thing was freaking um, Blue Eyes White Dragon for me. But yeah, I have to fight this dude. So yeah, I have to fight this guy. And then I have to go and fight somebody else. So this shouldn't be too bad of a fight. So it's not going to take too long, I hope. We just... Like, really, there is no strategy to the bosses in the, um... Like, side missions, really. Like, it's just go find them and, um, beat them up. There is, like, while there is really no strategy to this game, like, the bosses at least have you, like, a bit more on your toes, because, like, they hit pretty hard and fuck your day up. Whereas most of the bosses, like, with these mis missions, like, they will either hit semi-hard or fuck your day up. And by fuck your day up, I just mean by inflict mad status conditions. And apparently this guy's main gimmick is um, stealing your life points. Let's see, so I've been talking about Kaijudo and now I just mentioned Yu-Gi-Oh! in a Digimon game. Hey, have you seen the new Mewtwo looking thing? No, I'm not gonna start that. That's a... I'll probably talk about that more in a Pokemon like video later on. Actually, I really don't have a Pokemon Let's Play I'm doing. I mean, because as it stands... Digimon overall has gotten more views than Crystal has. And I've put more work and effort into Crystal. Considering I'm going through a game that I have not played in, like, years. So... Like, I don't know, it's like weird. Like, I put so much effort into, like, doing Crystal. Like, trying to remember everything. And making it even more difficult on myself by making it a... A Ugh. By making it a Nuzlocke. I mean, okay, yeah, I can understand. My channel's barely known. I have, like, last time I checked, like, 26 subs. Which I'm actually kind of surprised on, because... Like, like, over the course of the past few days, really, is when my sub count has been raising. Because back in, like, December, my sub count was, like, I think, 7? Like, early December, I had, like, a sub count of seven. And then slowly over it, like, I had a large jump from that to, like, 17 over the course of, like, two months. And then since, like, my subs have slowly, ri like, risen, like, about, like, actually, I think, like, a week ago, two weeks ago is when my sub count, like, reached 19. And then, like, I just fucking magically leaped up to 25, 26. I mean... I'm just surprised, like, my, like, my channel has been, like, seems that, like, it's just gotten more subs out of, um, out when I've uploaded, um, Digimon and, um, Minecraft than when I was uploading just Pokemon stuff. Well, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's strange, like, I'm not gonna say I'm quitting Yu-Gi-Oh, because that would be kind of stupid, I mean... Even though it's not a big thing on my channel, it is something that my channel started off with. I'm not gonna let it die that easily, um... But, like, really? I guess it's the fact that, um... Like, that the way I, 
that I've looked at Yu-Gi-Oh for so long now has been basically through the eyes of a of an anime fan since like GX like because after GX I stopped paying attention to the show really I mean I caught a few episodes of 5Ds and I've watched like the first two episodes of Zexel I mean I still get the like I still have quite a few of the cards and stuff from like those series but I don't know it's like weird Yu-Gi-Oh is just starting to die down for me I don't know if it's the fact that I've been re like I've been completely reintroduced to Kai to Kaijudo that it's like this because like back when I was a kid like it just seemed like like the only way I was able to play Kaijudo with my friends was through um, one of the Duel Masters on um, video games so that was like the only way I was able to really play with my friends because I was the only person that actually had the cards except for like one other kid but I lost contact with him like a while ago forever ago like I lost contact with him after elementary school which is what it really kind of like makes the entire thing like I don't know just kind of pathetic to me but yeah it's like like I guess it's the whole like bullshit fact that like Yu-Gi-Oh cards don't work the way that you think they could because there's quite a few cards that I thought could actually help Dark World like that like say discard a card and then like do whatever I thought that um, if you were to discard a card like through the cost of something like that like its effect would still activate nope nope and nope I mean okay yeah there has to be some kind of rules and sh shit within the series but when it's about things that I've tried to like like run I mean there's people pulling these kind of crazy bullshit moves getting like first turn stardusts and shit and the one plan I could think of of trying to make a decent deck has been completely foiled so it's really I find it like complete bullshit but whatever But yeah, like Kaijudo has been like a huge part of my childhood. I mean, not nearly as big of a part of it as um like um Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were, but I loved the show. I like like I love the show. That was like a big part of my childhood. I loved playing the card game. It was like I don't know, it was like really weird. Just feels like more like Kaijudo is easier for me to understand than Yu-Gi-Oh now. And to think this all started with me complaining about Crystal, I believe it was. <laughs> Strange how the mind works, isn't it? But yeah, Pokemon Conquest, I'm putting on, like, hold, if not, like, ceasing. But that got barely any views to begin with, and... Crystal is getting shit, like, shitty, um, views, if not any. At least with Digimon, I'm getting, like, a few views, like, every other video. Which is what I, like, I don't mind that. I know that Minecraft is what really has drawn in like views to my channel. But there's only so much Minecraft stuff I could do without getting myself completely bored. And I know some of you could be like, oh, but you've only done like the Let's Build Pixelmon server kind of series. You could still do like a regular survival series. I could do that, but that would really like the only way I could do that is for me to uninstall the Pixelmon mod. Because if I leave it in, then I'm going to get distracted by the Pixelmon, like, stuff in it. So, and, like, that would just be too much work to have to, um, keep reinstalling it, um, like, and removing it every time I wanted to change between the series, like, of, like when I'm recording. So, maybe I might start jumping onto random servers and stuff. Well, not exactly random servers, but... I used to frequent on um on like two different servers a while ago and I haven't really been on much lately. One of my friends uses my account on the servers though. 
So it's not like I've been completely offline with the servers. I'm still known on the server. So I might start a series like of me like doing stuff on there. Kind of all depends. So yeah. And I don't know I don't I can't remember what this guy's full name is, but um VM Yotes eh. Mit Miotsman. I don't know what the fuck this guy's name is at all now. Cause I'm trying to read it off the top screen, like next to him his thing. But this guy, my first time playing through this, like I got, like I did this mission in the middle of the night, like, like cause I have like a horrible time falling asleep, like. And before I, and like this was, uh, like I'm not gonna say a while before I started my whole kind of like um watching anime like. Till like 2 in the morning, then being able to fall asleep kind of thing. So like I would play DS games and stuff until like I like until like I was ready to fall asleep. So like I was playing through um through this game. I got up to this mission. I freaking faced this guy and I got terrified as all hell because it was like freaking like pouring and lightning thundering outside. Okay, this guy is freaking tearing shit up. No, not Shadow! You asshole, you killed Shadow again. I shall hit you with a revolver. Three shots. Paralyzed. Okay, good. Item. Come on, reviver, 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 reviver. I know I have. Like, I don't know why I was. Did I really just do that? At least with Pokemon, it says it doesn't. Like, this item will not work. Digimon is like, oh, hey, you could use it. It missed. I was gonna say, he'd be stupid not to attack Falco at that range. Oh, I don't even have enough for a freaking Galgo Tornado, so I guess with this I could go and there's a revival on Falco. After this fight, I'm gonna probably check, um... Check, like, how... Um, close as it is, people are getting to evolve because, um, I don't remember what his name is, but the thing that evolved from Kodomon, or Kodamon, um, I, like, don't remember, like, what level you require to evolve and everything, so I'm probably gonna double check that now. Well, after this fight, that is. Oh my god, this guy's annoying. But seriously, this guy, like, freaking terrified me. He appeared in my nightmares for, like, a good, like, month straight. Uh, do you attack multiple times? No, you do not. Let's just hit you with that. Spiritual kick! Boom. You're not dead! Makelgumon, punch him! Punch him with your metal-clad fists! Of doom! Yeah, and Kendall's up to level 37. Okay. And I've done this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, um, whatever this guy's name was, he is Omekamon. Okay. But yeah, now I can evolve him. Did you evolve? Yes, please. Take him on. But you're still going. Whoa, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally hit the end button, which basically changes where all, um, all my screens go. I have to get freaking mock Draymon in order to evolve into Puppetmon? Are you fucking kidding me? What else could I get? Uh, like Andromon, High Andromon, uh, Hookmon doesn't evolve, Ponchessmon, but Ponchessmon's bullshit, I don't want Nightmon. I guess I could go with this. But... 
That's bull. Mark Draymond, fuck you. I'm gonna go turn in this quest and see if the next um main main mission of the thing is done. Well, ready. Wait, going the wrong way. And after I do that, I'm going to go and tr attempt to take on the um arena to become a silver tamer. So, yeah. Let's go. So even if I don't take on the um, latest quest for this, I will do um another kind of thing this episode. And that gave me an item to if I could equip to a dark attribute, but I already have like three of those things owned. Let's see. Damn, I have to do another mission. Fuck. But I'll probably do um that other like one of those other missions off screen because I swear those missions will take hours. Well, not hours, but will take forever. At least with the, what I'm doing right now, it shouldn't take too much longer in the video, considering it's only one fight. So yeah. Hello, peoples. I think I sign up with Leomon, I believe. I don't remember. Yeah. Will cost two. Nope, I meant to pay, you idiot thing. Ah. Entry fee will be 2000, yes. Alright. Thank you. Shit. Whee. Yes. No! Are you ready to go to the battle stage? Yes. Stupid misclicking. Yay! Hurry up and just fight me. Yeah, that's what, like one of the coolest Digimon right there, that like crystal thing. It's just epic looking. Seriously. That thing is like one of my favorite designs of a Digimon just because it's so random like that. It's just a fucking cr like crystallized dragon thing. I don't even know what it is. Oh, okay, it's Millenniumon. Or some form of Millenniumon. Let's attack this fucking weird alien thing. Attack it with rainbow force. I'm saving fucking Millennium on there as the last thing I take down in this fight. I think I might be actually over leveled for this fight because they're causing like no damage to me. Yeah, that and I'm out speeding them like all hell. On the upper screen. I had like it, no I didn't mean to attack you. God damn it. Don't die. But seriously, it shows like let's just it just like it just shows that Millennium No 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 no. Not attacking you. Attack that ugly thing. Boom. Those things are not worthy to be in the presence of Millennium on. Even though they are on the same team. Yay, Trident Revolver! Yay, Rainbow Force! Seriously, this is all very, very weird. Ooh, poison rain, huh? Having fun there, buddy?
and let's go. Kaboom. And you get quite a bit of dark and machine XP off of this. Like I said, I think I was actually kind of over leveled for this fight. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Giga Breath, let's forget. Dragon Claw, Greymon Claw. And Energy Shot, let's forget Metal Tackle. Okay. I'm happy with this. Yay, I'm a Silver Tamer. You know what? Let's try to take on the gold exam. Let's try the gold. I think I signed up for it. Oh god, I'm kind of afraid because I don't remember if um, this is the one where I have to fight. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if this is the one where I have to fight the freaking um, two in training and the one mega that was people. Oh my god, Batoleomon. Oh my god, Lampmon. And I believe that's Loosemon. Yes, it is. Yeah, I knew I'd be fucked by going in here. I mean, probably with enough strategy, I could win this fight. But, yeah, I don't have the time or patience to do that. Let's just get my first official loss. I don't think I've actually ever lost in this game. So, yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind losing here. I knew that they would take it down. Metal Star. I'm not even gonna bother trying to heal or anything. It would just be a waste of items. Journal Sleep! Mako, come on! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I keep making stupid random noises. It's just the way I am. Oh no, I'm weird. I'm seriously very weird. Oh my god, stop hitting me with your frickin' turban already. Change with an available Digimon, okay. Chrono, Kendo, and Luna. Let's go. Yes. Chrono, use Chrono Breaker. I knew there was a reason why I named you Chrono. Go. Oh, use the Luniatic Dance. Attack Loosemon! Loosemon CM Chaos Mode? I don't know. These motherfuckers be hitting hard. That was a pathetic move. But whatever. Yay! Yay, I did it! I lost! But yeah, that's really about all I could do. I mean, I could go and get my reward for, be for becoming a silver. I get 10,000 bits. And also, I never realized this, but I could actually come here and um, just transfer and tr um, tamer points for items here.
So yeah. He both he mostly gives you stuff for um the Digi farm, so there's nothing really much there that you'd want. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly see what um nope, not that. Fuck your equipment. Okay, I just need to have you reach level 40 and I get Night Mod. Oop, I can actually show what the Mega Level is for you. Alpha Mod. And you have to have Clock Mod in order to get him. Plus a whole lot of Holy. Holy Cholito. That's what I gotta say. Holy Cholito. I don't even know what that means. Holy Cholito. But yeah, I think that's really about it, guys. There's nothing more I could really say. Nothing more I could really do. So, sub, like, comment, and I'm out, guys. And I'll probably do another mission off-screen. That way I could get to the next story mission. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing one of those loops, loop swamp missions on-screen. Because I do not want you guys to suffer through another two-hour video. So, yeah, see you around, guys. Bye.